time now for another edition of the Racing Dude. It's way too early Kentucky Derby Day. Welcome back to RaceDudes.com. I'm Magic, and today's early Kentucky Derby contender preview is going to focus on Epicenter, the winner of the inaugural Gunrunner Stakes at Fairgrounds on December 26th. How fitting that the race named for champion horse Gunrunner won by the same connections that champion the campaign Gunrunner, Steve Asmussen, the trainer, Winslow Thoroughbreds, the owner. With me to talk about Epicenter is Aaron Haltman. Aaron, this horse, now in three starts, has had very nice progression every step of the way, stretches out nicely. Talk to me about his chances as a three-year-old in 2022. He looks really good, right? I mean, he has the breeding as well, too. I guess if he was by Gunrunner, then it absolutely would have been perfect. But, he, but he's by not this time, and that's fine as well. Listen, this horse is really good. I mean, you, you said about progression. Certainly has at each start just seems to be getting better. Loved how this horse just put his head down and kind of just dusted him the last 16th of a mile in this race. I, I think he's awfully exciting. I, I think this is one, you know, in a crop where we haven't seen a lot of just Wow, that wow moments, wow standout moments. I think Epicenter kind of gave us one. Now, listen, we don't really know uh, the quality of the competition in that race. He obviously is going to face tougher horses, but it's not like he won by a neck or a head. He he ran like a horse that's ready to face better horses. Uh, the, the big disappointment was Rocket Dog, a horse we also thought would be pretty good. We kind of speculated Rocket Dog, Epicenter, that'd be the ones that kind of stand out. He was kind of a non-effort here. Uh, just green, tugged the whole way, was last, just a disaster. So not having him as kind of a challenger kind of missed out on, okay, you know, here's a horse coming up to him, can he hold him off type of situation. But he can only control what he can control. And so far, this horse, the last two starts have been really, really good. As far as his pedigree goes, he's by not this time, who we unfortunately didn't get to see run as a three-year-old, but did almost win the Breeders' Cup Juvenile at two turns. Uh, and then he has the uh, Candy Ride Mare on the bottom side. So theoretically, he should handle no problem as they keep going longer. It should get better, right? Should get better. We should see better numbers from him at, at the longer they go. And that's another thing that makes you really, really excited. You've got Steve Asmussen, obviously no problems there. Uh, you got the breeding. You know, you got the ownership group, like you said, Winchell Thoroughbreds. Seems to have a little bit of all of it right now. I think this horse is really, really good. I think he's, you know, right now uh, up there in the top five contenders. Obviously, it's very early. We don't really know what's out there uh, in the future. But he heads into the big fairgrounds pe preps uh, in 2022 as, you know, the early favorite. Head over to racingnews.com where we have free picks for every race, every track around the country. Watch our free previews, our live stream shows, our major stakes recaps, and all of our in-depth Kentucky Derby contender previews at youtube.com slash racing dudes. Leave a comment below with what you think about Epicenter. Do you think he's a good candidate for the Kentucky Derby? Are you looking to play against him at what will probably be a very short price in his next start? Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you like it. Tell all your friends. We'll see you at the track. This has been another edition of the Racing Dudes. Way to early Kentucky Derby Day.